What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, there is a new livery on my ESDA Camaro. Decided to change up the livery here for round two of ESDA Road Atlanta. Rocking the one of my older designs with EVLs splattered all over the front and the back. This time with gold and black Evil Rabbit 07 Designs vinyl decal on the, on the side. If you guys haven't checked out that, make sure you check out my Etsy shop. Got some designs up there and have more coming up soon. As well as energy on the door and the back as well. So we are here today to get some practice in the ESDA car. If you notice, the changes have been a little bit other than livery. There's different wheels on the car, different colors, as well as... Uh, the tune has been modified, camber and such. So we're going to head to Road Atlanta, get some shakedowns, and see if we can't get some good qualifying run in for this because ESDA is coming up here this weekend. And uh, definitely excited to uh, try and qualify for round two. Road Atlanta is a uh, very familiar circuit to me, so hopefully this uh, this car will do its justice. Been practicing a little bit of it. Definitely uh Got a feel for the car, so we're going to head over to the track, and uh, we're going to uh, see what we can do and get some practice here in the uh, ESDA Camaro. All right, we are set at Road Atlanta. I believe we have everything set up to go. Let me just double check, make sure. Yep, always on. And I believe standing start. Yep, standing start. So we are good on all of that. So we just got to get the wheel cam turned on. And uh, we're going to go full send. We are on our G923. 300. 900 degrees of rotation with our 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel. And uh, we're going to go and see if we can't get some good qualifying run practice in. Because uh, definitely looking forward to round two, hoping to actually qualify into round two will be nice to get into battles so definitely going to be practicing a lot this week um hopefully going to be hopping on with some of the guys that i practiced with last time and uh get some good qualifying and tandem practice with some group of guys in here so we're gonna heat up our tires for a minute and then we're gonna go full send on our first lap I think the gold is definitely uh, a nice a nice color combo on this car with the white EVLs splattered all over the front and back and roof. All right, so now we got our tires warmed up. We're gonna go in and uh, send it in for a first lap, get comfy in our seat. And here we go. A little bit faster than a 50 year old, but it's okay. Rev it out in third. And little shaky entry on the first run, but that was the first run, so I expected the first one to be a little shaky. But ladder section is not bad. A little bit too wide there, but still able to make a run until we lose it at the end. So I knew the first row would be shaky because my tires are not exactly where I want them to be. So, in qualifying situation, that would have been very bad. So we're gonna see if we can't get a better run here this time. And uh, I maybe tweak the gear ratio maybe slightly before the actual event, change it up because uh, topping out in third is kind of what I want to do, but I didn't want to do it so soon. There we go. That's a better entry. Good on that clip. Nice on that clip. A little bit shaky there. Not a perfect entry into that, but right on that white line. That could have been a lot better, but the entry was good. And we are allowed to drop one tire on the outside of there. So not a bad run for our second run. Like I said, I did do a lot of modifications to this tune. There's more camber in there. The tires are actually a narrower width. The car is lightened up a little bit. I dropped probably about 500, let's say 500 pounds. Uh, we are on a 305 tire now instead of a 315. So a little smaller tire width 
not as much traction so a little bit more slide there we go again see if we can't get a good look enter in cut that a little bit but not too too bad rumble on there nice on the rumble there Gonna hold ourselves in there Ooh, almost went e-brake but didn't need it this is a much better run if I wouldn't have clipped the grass on entry. But a much better run. Dropping one tire off at the end is okay. Almost dropped two, so it's almost a bad run. But we are good. So definitely feeling a lot more confident after getting the first round jitters out of ESDA. Definitely feeling more confident in the car. has been spending a lot of time behind the wheel of this car. And getting a little more confident, especially on this track. I've been running Road Atlanta for a very long time, so it's definitely a very familiar track of mine. That's gonna be a bad entry. Ooh, but we're gonna be able to hold it together somewhat. That was too much. Could not get the grip because I tacked the grass. I'm still gonna finish this run off though. in front grip in the car because of heat and the front tires but let me guys know down in the comment section what you guys think of the livery for round two do you guys like it do you not like it do you like the gold and black I feel like I'm going to be changing liveries up every round depending on how I'm feeling but then again I may keep this livery if it does me justice so we're going to get another run here we're probably going to do one or two more runs and that'll do it and then we'll probably be looking to get some tandems with some people coming here this week. There we go. That's that's a good entry. Nice. Other than that cut, hard on throttle. Add in some angle. There we go. Not as close to that white clip as I wanted to be, but I think I think I'm a lot more comfortable. Ooh, that's gonna be too tired. That would be bad. A lot more comfortable in this car here at Road Atlanta than I was at Long Beach. So definitely looking to get a good qualifying run or two and hopefully qualify for battles. It will be definitely a fun time to qualify into battles for USDA. So we're going to get one more run here before we end this episode off. So as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. If you guys are practicing for USDA as well, let me know down in the comment section down below. Ooh, that was good. That was a good entry. And right on that rumble, we didn't cut the grass. Not as deep into that zone, but high angle there. So we can't turn it in right on that cliff. There we go. Ah, oh, I threw it away. That would have been a good, solid run. We're not going to end this episode off on a run like that. We definitely need to tag one more run here. Ah. Oh. My entries are pretty much getting there. I know the, a lot of people are going to be doing flick entries and qualifying, um, but there will also be straight line entries as well for tandems. So we're going to try and do this one in more of a straight line approach. See if we can't do a straight line entry. Straight line entry, a lot harder, a lot more e-brake in that one. But we're good right on that rumbles right on that white line there we go this is a very decent run if i can not screw it up a little wavery there a little off throttle where i should have been on throttle but overall a decent run so i hope you guys enjoyed this little livery reveal here for round two of esda and uh hope to see you guys on the streams as well as watching ESDA. Hopefully I can qualify because I know there's a couple people that would like to see me in ESDA other than myself and my fiance. Um, there's some people on the channel that follow me that would like to see me in ESDA and uh, I would definitely like to see myself in ESDA. So, that, oh, too much throttle, but so until next time guys, I appreciate it. And I appreciate all the comments and all the support from you guys. I'm Evil Rabbit, Ooh. and I'm out. Uh, just a tap. <laughs>